Hello, people of the internet. So, in Half-Life 2, there's a mysterious guy who watches over you, called G-Man. You can see him in few maps too, or in TV screens for example, or even face to face. But, before you get to him, he always walks away. Or, you can take advantage of this speed hopping trick, and you can get right next to him, and even touch his butt. When you get down here, you can see him in the distance, over here. So, let's hop, hop, hop a few times before he walks away. And voila, we're next to him. Yay, that was easy. Oh, he disappeared. This wasn't the only place where you can meet G-Man in this game. The next part of the game where you can meet him is this map. We are gonna need a barrel to climb a wall this time though. It's probably possible with just movement too, but that's pretty hard. Oh, don't leave me! Here you can see him in the distance, trying to spot Gordon. Is he on the left? Nah, is he in front of me? Wait, I see something on the left. We have to be pretty fast so that he doesn't escape. Ah, this water is slowing me down. Alright, now this is why I needed a barrel. It's pretty useful for climbing walls. He's a good man. Well, hello there, Mr. G-Man. How are you? Oh no, where are you going? Oh, he doesn't like us. Hmm, invisible wall. Okay, I just got an idea. What if we used this barrel to block him? Ah, he teleports. Just like any other NPC that gets stuck. Another map where G-Man is spying on Gordon is this one. The first step is gonna be spawning him. I need to get around this gate and then walk up here. Now we can see him. The fastest way is here over this bridge and then hop next to him. Hey! Ha ha ha! Hello! Oh, he still doesn't like me. Next map! Thank you for the boost. Here, G-Man is walking in a place where you shouldn't be able to get to. See, there's even an invisible wall. And after a bit, he starts walking away. Joke's on him though. Little did he know that with boxes, you can do anything. You have to climb on this exact spot. If you climb too much to the left or to the right, G-Man will walk off this way. He will finally like us and stays with us. Over this roof, fall down here. Haha, <laughs> he's our friend now. Forever. Oh, that's bad. And the last one, but the most difficult one, is G-Man who is existing over the sea. You spawn him by walking next to this telescope. And when you look into the telescope, he walks off after a while. So, I'm gonna use this to my advantage. And I will only walk next to it. And then go to the beginning of the map so that I don't delete the spawned NPCs that are standing over the sea by walking there the intended way. Now we have to count, so one skid mark, second black line, third, fourth, and fifth skid mark. Okay, we can't go any further or reload the previous map and the G-Man disappears. Now let's jump a bit and fly over the sea. Then surf here and done. Hello, G-Man. Nice to meet you once again. I hope you're doing well. Hmm. You fear me, huh? <laughs> you are trapped now. You got nowhere to go. Man, crowbaring G-Man is my favorite activity. I really enjoyed creating this video and finding ways how to get to G-Man. You can try it yourself too. Thanks for watching, if you liked the video, you can leave a like or a comment. If you wanna see how to teleport through walls, get no clip, stop a train or how to play portal without portals, you can check my source engine playlist. Subscribe for more videos like this one.